president of the class of 2019. I'll be attending Westfield State University in the fall and majoring in secondary education. I'd like to start by welcoming Dr. Elsa Cummings, I, I mean Dr. Cummings, um, Mr. Pignataro, Mr. Kelly, Ms. Coza, faculty members, friends, family, and of course, the Grafton High School class of 2019 to this year's graduation ceremony. Before doing anything else, I want to say a few thank yous. First, I have to thank my parents and my brother. Mom and Dad, thank you for your undying support in everything I do, for teaching me to take risks and challenge myself, for always believing in me even when I didn't believe in myself, and for sharing in my best and worst moments. Nick, thank you for showing me the ropes and being a tremendous role model for the past 18 years, or is it 23? I'll never be able to thank you three enough for the sacrifices you've made to help me succeed. I love you guys so much. I would like to thank our incredible class advisors, Kaz and Izzo, who I still can't call Mrs. Scanlon and Mrs. Moore. Thank you for first voluntarily deciding to deal with a bunch of freshmen, which is just so great of you. And second, somehow turning us into slightly less weird, slightly more mature seniors. We're also thankful for all the hours of hard work you've put into the past four years to make our high school experience that much better. I'd also like to thank all of administration and every, teach every teacher who was ever lucky enough to deal with the class of 2019. And I, of course, have to thank our wonderful superintendent and my Twitter arch nemesis, Dr. Cummings, for everything he's done for us, even if he did only give us one snow day this year. <laughs> but really, thank you all for dedicating your lives to help students better their own. You are truly the unsung heroes of this world. And finally, a big thank you to Grafton High's class of 2019. When I sat down to write this speech, I had no clue what I was going to write about. I know I didn't want to say too many cliches, and I didn't want to sound like I knew everything that life had in store for us because I really do know next to nothing. However, as I started writing this speech, I was reminded of one I gave four years ago titled Eighth Grade Graduation. In hindsight, the whole thing was a bit dramatic. I talked about our growth throughout our middle school years, how we finally made it to high school, and about us closing the chapter in our lives called middle school. Now, four years later, I'm looking class of 2019 one final time. I've had the incredible opportunity of being class president every year since seventh grade. I really don't know why you guys kept electing me, but I'm so grateful that you decided to endure my emails for so long. I've been able to watch us grow as students and as people for the last six years, and I can honestly say that I'm so proud of each and every one of you, and I'm glad you all know how to use deodorant now. <laughs> for those that don't know, I've become very involved in student council over the last four years. This past year, I served as the Regional Student Council President and was also a member of the Statewide Student Council Executive Board. I truly would not have had the courage to do either of these things if it weren't for the support that this class has given me over the years. It's this confidence that I've gained because somehow you all saw something in me that I'll take with me for the rest of my life. Sorry. Without realizing it, whether you've been in Grafton for the last 13 years or for just a few months, this class has taught you something. We've taught each other about friendship, teamwork, failure, success, and so much more. As you leave today and spend one last time with all your classmates, I encourage you to think about what, how the class of 2019 has impacted your life. Please, for me, use today to tell your classmates, your teachers, and especially your family how much you appreciate them, because one day you might not be able to. I don't know what the future has in store, nor do I know much about the world at all. But I do know one thing very well, the iconic music of our generation. Class of 2019, I'd like to leave you with a quote from my girl, the legend, Hannah Montana. <laughs> I'm moving on, letting go, holding on to tomorrow. I've always got the memories while I'm finding out who I'm going to be. We might be apart, but I hope you always know you'll be with me wherever I go. As life takes us on our adventures beyond high school, we all share this common background of Grafton High. We'll always be able to recall the times we spent with friends, and I think that one of the most important lessons we've learned in Grafton is that you'll always have a home among the class of 2019. I wish you all the best of luck as you begin the rest of your lives. Thank you for an incredible 13 years. It's been a pleasure serving as your president. I love you guys.
Hi everyone, my name is Callie Heron, and this fall I'll be attending the University of Vermont and majoring in microbiology. I first want to start by thanking you all for coming tonight. Thank you to the parents, administration, families, teachers, coaches, and most of all, thank you to the class of 2019. Congratulations, we made it. To the teachers who have taught and helped us grow, appreciate, and learn so many new things, thank you. If it wasn't for all of you, we would not be walking across this stage tonight. To the families that are in the audience, thank you for not only supporting us for the past 18 years, but for being there when we needed it the most. Most of all, thank you to my classmates. We've been with each other for as long as I can remember, and high school would not have been nearly as much fun as it was without all of you. I am so honored to be able to speak tonight, and I am proud to represent our class academically but I don't want to focus on class rank or GPA or any other number that's supposed to represent who we are. And even though that's the reason I'm standing here tonight, it doesn't mean that's how we are defined as students and people because we are all so much more than a number. When we were freshmen, we roamed the halls with absolutely no idea where to go and the seniors only directed us to the swimming pool on the third floor. Now that we are the seniors and we prepare to cross this stage, we can all be confident in our abilities to find the nearest swimming pool, which just so happens to not be on the third floor, unless Mrs. Scanlon has been an undercover lifeguard this whole time. Whether or not we thrived on the field, in the classroom, or on the stage, the accomplishments we are most proud of do not have a number next to them. I hope that these achievements were fueled by a desire to be better, to work harder, and to care so deeply about something that is close to your heart. As we cross this stage and continue on with our lives, I hope we all pursue something that has true meaning for us. As my favorite Dr. Seuss character once said, unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better, it's not. If we each find that one thing that we care a whole awful lot about, then the world is gonna get a whole lot better in so many different ways. No matter how you discover what your true passion is, whether it be at college, at work, in the studio, on the stage, or traveling the world, there is no doubt in my mind, and the Lorax's, that each and every one of us will achieve great things. I hope that when we look back on these four years, we think of them as the good old days, where we took chances and risks and lived without regret. But if that's not what comes to mind, that's okay, because this is the perfect chance to start. Start right now, because this is the cleanest slate we'll ever get. Wherever we go from here, start living with, without regret and without fear. These four years have been pretty good, but there are amazing things ahead for all of us. Work hard, pursue what you are passionate about, and turn your whole life into the good old days. Thank you for everything, and congratulations to the class of 2019. <laughs> And next we have Chloe Safasan and Bryson Newhouse who will be singing Rivers and Roads by the Head and the Heart. has been and I miss your face like hell and I guess that's just as well
been talking about the way things change my family lives in a different state so if you don't know what to make of this then we will not be late so if you don't Good evening. My name is Barbara Curia, and I'm the Vice President of the Class of 2019. <laughs> this upcoming fall, I'll be attending Worcester State University to pursue a career in nursing. At this time, I would like to welcome Dr. Cummings, Grafton High School, faculty and staff, friends, family, and of course, the Class of 2019. I don't know about you all, but I can't believe it. Four years ago, we walked into the commons, all huddled towards the front, ready for whatever high school had in store for us. Oh, well, little did we know then. We watched the seniors in the backs like hawks. We respected them not only because they were the oldest, but because they carried all the confidence of being the oldest. I couldn't wait for it to be our turn. But that day came, and I can tell you, things have really changed around here. Just the other day, I was walking in the hall, and a freshman bumped into me and had the nerve to roll their eyes like it was my fault. That would be unheard of in my days. But nonetheless, we huddled in the front, not ever thinking this day would come. But it's here. We've reached a major milestone in our life, so tonight we celebrate us. Actually, I take that back. Tonight is about everyone in this very place. It's about a community of people that set out to nurture us and pave a way. Tonight is for our teachers. From K through 12, they've gone above and beyond in sharing their talent and time. Not only were they concerned about the type of students we were, but the type of people we were going to become. And for that, I'm forever grateful. Tonight is for our administration. Although their job is to enforce the rules and reprimand us accordingly, they have put their best efforts to create an environment where we all felt safe and comfortable. My first time in the principal's office was second grade. I know what you're thinking, that's a little early, but let me explain. Leading up to the event, I was in Mrs. Lewis's computer class, all excited to hop on some computer games for our free day. Don't mean to brag, but I was kind of a baller when it came to Pop Tropica. Any of us know when a teacher doesn't assign seats, after a week or so, everyone has an unassigned assigned seat. 
Well, that particular day, I made a new friend I wanted to sit next to, so I took someone else's on a side and assigned seat. Harmless, right? Well, that person did not see it that way. We got into a heated argument where I said, I don't see your name on this seat. And the person responded, well, that's exactly why I don't like brown people. <laughs> well, at the time, I wasn't thinking about race or how I was different. I was just hurt she didn't like me. So I told my teacher, whose immediate response was to give me a hug, and soon after, me and that little girl were sent to the principal's office. The principal at the time didn't yell at her or question me ab about what, exactly what happened. She just explained to us what it meant to be tolerant and kind. She told that girl that even though her words were said in the heat of the moment, they mattered and expressed a lot more hate and ignorance than she might have intended. Those weren't exactly the words used, but now as a graduating senior, I know exactly what she meant. Me and that girl hugged it on in the end and played at recess the next day. The conversation I had with the principal was empowering and still holds up today. I didn't feel silenced or ignored, and as a black student, I've never felt like I couldn't speak my mind to my administrators. Not many other towns or schools can say that, so I can assure you, Grafton should take pride in it. Lastly, tonight is for our loved ones who saw us all the way through. My family has stood beside me every step of the way. Mom, Dad, Koosh, Bridget, Barry, your support has meant everything to me. I'd especially like to thank my grandparents who live over 8,000 miles away, but yet root for me on a daily basis. My education has meant so much to them, so I'm glad they're here tonight. Wuka degimono. But besides my family, it took me so long to realize that from K through 12, me and all my fellow peers were placed in a community that wants to see us succeed. Whether it was local businesses, funding activities, neighbors coming to see us in a player game, or your friend's parents giving you a ride to practice, they never wish to see us fail. Seeing as we have all these people by our side encouraging us with the best intentions, I'm going to challenge my class. Set a goal for yourself. It can be short or long term, but make sure it's something you're passionate about. Make sure that every day you wake up, you're enthusiastic to work towards that goal. Not only for your community, but for yourself. I have no doubt in my mind that each of us will leave Grafton High School today and do great things. I am so, so honored to be a part of this class. Congratulations, and I wish you all the very best. <laughs> Next up, Alora Smith and Erica Kelly will be singing On My Way by Phil Collins. Alora, that's... Hello, I'm Erica Kelly. I'll be going to UMass Dartmouth for music education. Um, great. <laughs> Hi, my name is Alora Smith, and I will be going to Mount Wachusett Community College to get my theater art associates.
Let's give another round of applause for those students. <clears throat> Good evening, I'd like to welcome Dr. Cummings, members of the school committee, honored guests, parents, guardians, grandparents, family, faculty, staff, and most importantly, the class of 2019. I would also like to welcome Grafton High School alumni. We are honored that you are part of our ceremony here tonight. I would ask all the Grafton High School graduates to please stand. <laughs> Students in the class of 2019, although this is your night, I'd like to thank and recognize other members of the Grafton community that have helped to make this ceremony and many other class activities very special for you. Mrs. Scheinbart, Mrs. Moen, Mrs. Harris, thank you for all your help in organizing all of the details that are part of senior events. The class of 2019 advisors, Mrs. Scanlon and Mrs. Morin, thank you both for your time and effort in working with the senior class. Assistant principals, Mr. Kelly, Ms. Koza, thank you for your assistance in working not only with the class of 2019, but all students. This time, would all the faculty and staff of the Grafton Public School System please stand to be recognized. <laughs> Thank you for all the hours and hard work that you've devoted to our graduates. Parents and guardians of the class of 2019, please stand to be recognized. First, I want to let everyone know how smoothly rehearsals went this week. <laughs> At one point during what I would call organized chaos, Johnny Malloy said to me, we'll be ready. <laughs> and Eli Cahill said this morning, it isn't as if graduation is tonight. Thank you both for bringing some humor to the rehearsals and our ceremony. Well, to the class of 2019, I sincerely thank you. Your approach and actions as a class has made this year very enjoyable, and you should be very proud of the multiple achievements that you've been made by many of you. In a few minutes, you'll receive your diploma. These diplomas represent your academic achievement, but for many of you, there are other kinds of achievement on a personal level, as you've had to overcome some adversity in your life. You will soon begin a new chapter in your life, one in which you'll see success and failure, as well as challenges and uncertainty. As you travel down different roads in the future, there will be people that will help you. 
It is important to recognize these people and thank them for taking the time to assist you. It is also important to remember the words and guidance of loved ones that have passed away. All of them will be an anchor of support for you for many years to come. These supports combined with your willingness to work hard and do your very best will help you find success. It may not happen quickly or often, but it will happen. And success has many different faces. Within this class, there have been accomplishments from outstanding performances on the stage to league and district athletic championships to academic recognition. And regardless of the form that success takes, it has the same identifying qualities that this class possesses. When I asked teachers and staff at Grafton High School to describe this group of students, they described it in the following ways. They are genuine. Over the last four years, they have remained true to themselves. No matter who you choose to become, don't take yourself too seriously and be able to laugh at yourself. On a personal note, this spring I had the awesome opportunity to coach Unified Track. Well, after a track meet, we were coordinating rides home for the students, and at one point a student said to me, Mr. Pig, my mom, want, my mom wants to talk to you. The student hands over his phone to me. I automatically put the phone to my ear. At that point, the student said to me, Mr. Pig, my mom is looking into your ear. <laughs> I said, what? The student says, I'm on FaceTime with her. <laughs> Ever since, there's been a constant amusement about me and my use of the cell phone. The staff has described this class as they are personable. Many members of this class have established important relationships because of their ability to communicate effectively. They are also resilient. When life has challenged them, they have sought out supports and worked to meet and overcome their challenges. In the future, when you are faced with obstacles, remember you have the tools to be successful and have tried to do what is right. And in terms of trying to do what is right, I offer you the following thoughts as you leave Grafton High School. Stand up for what you believe in. We have seen many students in this class use their voice and actions to make a positive change in our school and the greater Grafton community. Focus on what you need to do. Do not worry about what others may or may not have in terms of resources. Stay involved, whether that is at your college, your university, in the workforce, the military, or in the town in which you live, continue to give back and share your talents with others. Stand up for those who are not able to stand up for themselves. There are many people that need extra assistance and without someone stepping up to help them, they will struggle. As you leave here tonight, please keep in mind that many of you have made a difference, whether it be publicly or privately. Working as individuals and ultimately as a class, you have accomplished great things in your time at Grafton High School. Class of 2019, I wish you the very best in health, happiness, and success. Thank you very much. At this time, I'd like to invite Dr. Cummings and Mrs. Often, chairperson of the school committee, to the stage. <laughs> Dr. Cummings, members of the school committee, and all those in attendance, it is my duty and privilege to certify that these young men and women gathered here this evening have successfully completed the Grafton High School course of studies and they have completed all the requirements established by the State Board of Education and the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and they should hereby be awarded their Grafton High School diploma so that they may assume their role as courageous, capable, caring, and active contributors to the world in which they live. Congratulations, class of 2019. Chloe Michaela Safason.
Barbara Eunice Jetty Curia. Benjamin Pham Nguyen. Jenna Singh Ah Lee. Callie Samantha Heron. Michaela Laura Margosian. Chloe Francesca Beverly Maison Devaney. Jacob Richard Adams. Olivia Josephine Adams. Salem Jane Adams. Evan James Agby. Victoria Marie Alstrom. Rhea Nicole Alid. Hallie Elizabeth Allen. Megan Elizabeth Arbogast. <laughs> Melissa Marceline Auger. <laughs> Alexandra Helen Avery. <laughs> Madeline Jean Babowich. Jake David Baker. <laughs> Catherine Jillian Baker. <laughs> Tyler James Baker. <laughs> Akshita Balagani. Sneha Balaji Prabhu. Sakshi Baldoa. <laughs> Stein Balog de Galanta. <laughs> Alyssa Francesca Balsevich. <laughs> Jonah Sean Thierson Barrett. Andrew Reardon Belanger. Spencer Daniel Belleville. Benjamin Joseph Baraby. Sarah Rose Bianco. Sophia Anna Boder. Jenna Lee Boisvert. Emma Marie Bouvier. Timothy James Brackett. Kevin Paul Bro. Hannah Paige Bittner. Jack Ryan Burke. Margaret Ann Burke. Sarah Hutchinson Burke. 
Allison Blythe Burrow. Sarah Rachel Kachapudi. Elijah Jefferson Cahill. Mackenzie Lauren Callahan. Catherine Yvette Cameron. Callie Olivia Cardenas. James Thomas Cardoza. Camilla Amira Clapper. Jason Edward Cohen. Julia Morgan Lee Como. Matthew John Corning. <laughs> Tyler James Cortese. <laughs> Jack Edward Cossaboom. <laughs> Jack Albert Conoyer. <laughs> Sophia Alexis Coveney. Go, Matthew Robert Cox. <laughs> Cheyenne Evelyn Crete. Paige Nicole D'Amico. Alexis Marie D'Angelo. Aniha Matul Dalal. Max Antonio De Freitas. Humberto Henry Barboza de Lima. Matthew Lee DeBleek. Matthew Brian Dealey. Caitlin Lyons Delaney. Caitlin Rose Deneen. Alexander Martin DeBello. <laughs> Anya Maria Dickman. <laughs> Kevin Tu <Tew> Young. Jordan Sarah Eddy. <laughs> Jacob Anthony Aloso. <laughs> Charles James Farah. <laughs> Charles William Facehold.
Adam Robert Fields. Thomas Anders Fobert. Emmy Alicia Eleanor Fundell. Brady Leary Fontana. Cameron Austin Forbes Lebeau. Owen McGarry Frank. Patrick Henry Gallagher. Sophia Mana Galvani. Samika Reddy Gangiti. Soliman Gay. Nicholas David Gerard. Logan Argorn Goldovitz. Ian Michael Gordon. Jenna Marie Gordon. Bella Marie Grant. Rajul Gupta. Grace Victoria Garinian. Rebecca Flynn Haggerty. Seth Doyon Lee Bordner. Matthew Alexander Hallett. <laughs> Abigail Kathleen Hamilton. <laughs> Casey Rose Harding. <laughs> Sophia Aurora Harper. Patrick Joseph Heppernan. Matthew Robert Holbrook. Kayla Marie Howland. Jessica Marie Esquierdo. Ryan Christopher Jack. Fiona Ann Johnson. Megna Reddy Cocky. Anshula Melind Kale. Krudai Krishna Kandalagunta. <laughs> Kayla Graceland Kariabdi. <laughs> Kayla Linda Kieran. <laughs> Erica Aileen Kelly.
Caitlin Elizabeth Kennedy. Nimra Ox Khan. Hello, everyone. My name is Benjamin Nguyen, and I am the class treasurer. Um, in the fall, I will be attending WPI as a mechanical engineer major. <laughs> Maxwell Thomas King. <laughs> Lauren Elise Klotz. Congratulations, Max. Savea Knight. Tyler Reese LaComfora. Aaron Richard Price. Clifton Milton Landry. <laughs> Jillian Paulette LaBelle. <laughs> Andrew Gabriel Lee. <laughs> Olivia Grace Lee. Matthew Scott Lemers. Ethan Hunter Lennon. Victor Cosmos Lynchfield. Kyle Thomas Lynch. Jermel Wayne Lyons. Andrew Robert McMaster. Colby Fenway McGann. Maeve Elizabeth Mahoney. Naren Venkata Majedi. John Thomas Malloy. Arian Mangalik. Connor Richard Manning. Sarah Michelle Martel Gray. John Raymond Martin. Emily Grace Massoni. Mitchell Robert McDonald. Griffin Riley Melican. <laughs> Denny Andres Mercado Suarez. <laughs> Jacob Michael Swift.
Hayden Curtis Meyer. Christian Morin. Ethan Nathaniel Murray. Wyatt Benjamin Murray. Aiden Elise Nickerson. Olivia Catherine Nicolazzo. Carissa Ann Nordstrom. Jarrett Lee Jordan O'Neill. Keegan Michael O'Neill. Isha Amod Paranjape. Samantha Kelly Parsons. Makoto C. Parton. Aksh Pritash Patel. Radhika Anal Patel. Angelina Susan Pacconi. Delaney Elizabeth Pallott. Olivia Gianna Therese Porzio. Cameron Nelson Powell. Christopher James Pertano. Sophie Rose Pertano. Kevin Ryan Popolo. Sonia Manish Perohit. Syed Zain Raza. Kelly Marie Rexro. Caitlin Sarah Roconti. Abigail Carolyn Rogers. Jacob Scott Rogers. Hi everyone, my name is Jenna Lee and I'm the class of 2019 secretary. This fall I'll be attending Syracuse University majoring in biochemistry. <laughs> Emma Elizabeth Rolf. <laughs> Alexander Michael Rosine. Christopher Alexander Salvador. Mark Julian Salvatelli. Jordan, 
Jordan Lindsay Sarver. Cassidy Danielle Searles. Desiree Marie Senya. Tiernan Kathleen Shea. Margaret Therese Sheehan. Bailey Rose Shepherd. Gracie Joe Schatz. Emily Tatiana Seaman. Julia Natalie Seaman. Liliana Silva. Alora Taya Smith. Jackson Riley Sonnet. Connor Scott Susie. Isabella Sue Spagnolo. Renee Elizabeth St. Jean. Matthew Joseph Stefanik. Parker James Stewart. Ryan Francis Sullivan. Emma Charlotte Swanick. Sarah Elizabeth Swanick. Rachel Elizabeth Swartz. Joseph Michael Sweeney. Nicole Murphy Sweeney. Rachel Elizabeth Tabachnik. Brandon William Talbot. Noah Dean Tamori. Ryan Matthew Toy. Tyler William Tran. <laughs> Serena Nafong Trin. Henry Sumner Tucker. Sean Charles Tilsley. Caroline Livingston Underhill. Sarah Elise Vaca. Yeah. 
Zoe Kennedy Vale. Ashley Ray Vikowskis. Rachel Ann Wagner. Rachel Morgan Wagner. Peyton Josephine Walker. Ryan Allen Warner. Samantha Rose Warren. Michael Kent Welch. Aaron Joseph Wheeler. Matthew Joseph Whitney. Kim Trin Wilfong. Christopher Brian Young. Bryson Alexander Uhas. <laughs> Molly Marie Zariello. <laughs> Jacob Lawrence Zastani. <laughs> Daniel Wang Zhu. Gina Wing Zhu. <laughs> Ivan Sao. <laughs> Sahil Melind Kale. <laughs> <laughs> 